Well, days before the November 3rd election, Wisconsin is still in play. Both presidential campaigns know it. It's why they're focused on the Badger State today. Both President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden have been planning some campaign stops, and they're going to stop here today. Ryan Jenkins is live looking ahead at those events. Ryan, good morning. Good morning. As Election Day nears, both Trump and Biden are embarking on this battleground blitz with stops right here in Wisconsin today. This will be Biden's first trip to Wisconsin in over a month, his third trip to Wisconsin altogether. And meanwhile, President Trump plans to return. This will be his third visit to the state in about a week. Now, they are taking some different approaches to how they are rallying. Joe Biden's campaign has not yet said where he will be today. All we know is that he is planning a visit to Wisconsin today. President Trump's campaign planning to stump at the airport in Green Bay. Their visit comes as more than a million and a half Wisconsin voters rush to vote early at unprecedented rates. Now, this is where things stand as we head into this final weekend ahead of Election Day. The Wisconsin Elections Commission reporting that nearly half of Wisconsinites who are registered to vote have already cast ballots. Wisconsin has more than three and a half million active registered voters in this election. More than 1.6 million absentee ballots have already been returned. More than 470,000 voters have cast ballots in person absentee. Meanwhile, election officials are saying use today to drop off your ballot early. If you plan to vote early, you can hop in line at one of the early voting locations and get that done today. If you plan on voting in person, just a couple more days to wait here. Tuesday will be election day. Vince, Julia. So, Ryan, while more than a third of registered voters have already cast ballots early, certainly there's still going to be an election day turnout. I know Wisconsin Elections Commission was talking about concern over having enough poll workers November 3rd. What are you hearing about that? Yeah, Vince, this has been really a concern since the pandemic began here. We know that Governor Tony Evers yesterday authorized 400 National Guard troops to help staff polls and plug any shortages that may uh, be seen here. That way voters have nothing to worry about in that realm. Vince. All right, Ryan Jenkins live for us downtown. Ryan, thank you. 604 now.